Hello, third graders. This is Shay Jackson with Helping Young People Excel in Math. Today, we will be reviewing for the Texas Star Test 2022 or whatever state assessment test you will be taking. It is for third graders and we will be going over place values. This is part two. You should go and also watch part one. We will have it in the description box and also you will be able to click on it at the end of the video so that you can watch that one as well. We will be reviewing whole numbers in standard, expanded, and word forms. Remember, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. That's from Michael Jordan. We have our Texas Star third grade math review workbooks for sale in our store. You can click the link in the description box. The workbook has all of the questions we will be reviewing in the videos so that you can follow along in your workbook. Grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so that you can get notification for all of the third grade math review videos we have. So let's dive in and review. We have our number, which is 1,225. If you notice in this slide, we have it in block form. We also have it in word form and also in our place value chart. For the block form, you see we have one 1,000 block, two hundreds blocks, two tens blocks, and five ones blocks. As well, you see that we have it in number and written form. We have 1,000, two hundreds, two tens, five ones. And in looking at our place value chart, we have a one in the thousands place, a two in the hundreds place, also a two in the tens place, and a five in the ones place. Now, when we think about standard form, the, what you need to think about, it just means how the number is wrote out in numbers. So what the way you normally would write the number, and in our example, again, we have 1,225. This is in standard form. In expanded form, a, one type of standard form, we have 1,000 plus 200 plus 20 plus Five. And if you notice, it's color coded so that you can follow along. Let's look at another way we can write a number in expanded form. We have one times 1,000 plus two times 100 plus two times 10 plus five times one. In word form is just what it means. We're writing all of the numbers in words. We have 1,225. Let's look at another example. The word problem says the record, the record breaking Oreo is 6,495 times bigger than the normal Oreo cookie. That is a humongous cookie. It was baked in Manama, Bahrain, and is officially the world's largest cream-filled biscuit. What we're going to do is take our number, which is 6,495, and if you notice, we show it is represented in block form and also number and word form. So for our block form, we have six 1,000 blocks, 400 blocks, nine tens blocks, and five ones blocks. 
And when we put it in number and word form, we have six thousands, four hundreds, nine tens, five ones. Now let's look and see how we can represent this number in the place value chart. If you notice in the thousands place, we have the six. And again, the numbers are color coded for you to follow along. In the hundreds space, we have a four. In the tens place, we have a nine. And in the ones place, we have a five. And just as a reminder, again, the standard form is how it is written in the word problem. It's just writing the numbers. Now let's look and see how it would look when we put it in expanded forms. And we have both types of expanded forms that we could write. Let's look at the top one first. We have 600, I'm sorry, 6,000 plus 400 plus 90 plus five. Another way we can put it in expanded form or write it in expanded form is six times 1,000 plus four times 100 plus nine times 10 plus five times one. Those are the two ways we can write our number in expanded form. Now let's see how we can write it in word form. We have 6,400 95. Let's look at one more word problem just to make sure we have our review airtight. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Miss Betty Webster from Hawaii holds the record for the largest collection of sunglasses. She has 1,000 506 pairs of glasses, sunglasses, and counting. She probably has more right now. All right, so in looking at our number, we have it first using our block, our blocks or in block form. We have one 1,000 block, 500 blocks, now look at our tens place. Do we have any blocks there? No, we do not because there is, there is not a number in the tens place. So we just put a zero there in the tens to represent that no, we do not have a number in the tens place. And we have six ones. Now let's look and see how this would be written in our place value chart. We have a one in the thousands place, a five in the hundreds place, a zero in the tens place, and a six in the ones place. Now let's take a look and see how it can be written in standard, expanded, and word forms. And again, third graders, you can follow along with each number based on the color that it is, just so you won't get lost, okay? So in standard form, again, it's just writing the, norm, the number the normal way, 1,506. In expanded form, one way we can write it is 1,000 plus 500 plus zero plus six, or we can write one times 1,000 plus five times 100 plus zero times 10 plus six times one. In word form, we will write the words 1,506. Now, now that we've had some reviews and we should have on straight how we write our numbers, whether they're asking for standard form, expanded form, or word form, we will know how to write it, right? Right. All right, so let's look at problem number two. And again, you can grab your workbook by clicking that link in the description box. We have it on sale in our store. 
Number two says, or question two says, which expression represents the number 867? The answer choices are F, 80 plus 60 plus 70. G is 800 plus six plus seven. H is 500 plus 300 plus 50 plus 10 plus seven. And J is 500 plus 300 plus 60 plus 70. Hmm, very interesting answer choices. The first question that we are gonna ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? Most important question to ask because that tells us what we need to look for and also how we solve the problem. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the expression that represents the number 867. And in what form is this number in? Yes, this number is in standard form. And looking at the answer choices, what form is would that be in? <laughs> If you said expand it, you're absolutely right. Now, the next question we're gonna ask ourselves is, what information can help us find the answer? Okay, again, what information can help us find the answer? I think that what can help us find the answer is putting our number in the place value chart and also because we know this is in expanded form, putting the number in expanded form so that we can discover what our answer is, okay? So the information that we need to find the answer is, we put it in a place value chart just to kind of help us, guide us to see what place the eight is in, what place the six is in, and also what place the seven is in, but also we know that our answer choices are in expanded form. So we're going to put our answer, I mean our number in expanded form as well so that we can find our answer. Now, our next question is how to solve the problem, okay? How do we solve this problem? In order for us to solve the problem, we broke out our number into expanded form or expanded notation. Because sometimes you'll see expanded notation, which is just another way of saying form, okay? So we put our number in expanded form, 800 plus 60 plus 70. Now, let's see how we can find what the correct answer is. Now, one thing that I will say, because even though I said these answers are interesting, they are. One thing it teaches us is not always will our answer be in plain sight. And you're gonna say, you're saying to yourself, well, what does that mean, Ms. Jackson? Okay, we know that our answer in expanded form is 800 plus 60 plus seven. Now, if we look at our answer choices, do you see that written just like that? I don't. I know that F is not the correct answer because it's not 80, we know it's 800, so, F is already, we know that's wrong. Now, okay, we're gonna look at G. G starts off pretty good. It has the 800, but then it says plus six, but we already know based on us writing our answer in expanded form that it should be plus 60. So G is not correct either. And that shows why you should figure out how to solve the problem before looking at the answers. And I mean, the answers are there and it's not like you can make them, make them disappear, but don't focus on the answers. 
have enough confidence in yourself to figure out how to solve the problem and then look at the answers. Because if not, you may be confused or you'll say, well, this seems right. But if you already put the answer down, you know what's right and you don't have to just choose any answer. So since we know that F and G cannot be our answer choice, let's look at H. Okay, so for H, it has 500 plus 300 plus 50 plus 10 plus 7. Okay, that doesn't look like my answer, but we do know that if we add 500 plus 300, that's equal to what? If you said 800, you're absolutely correct. So, Okay, we're starting off pretty good with H. Now we have 60, I mean, plus 50 plus 10. Okay, 50 plus 10 is 60. H is still looking pretty good. And then we have plus 7. So, Possibly the answer, let's move to J to make absolutely sure. Now you may say, Ms. Jackson, I already know what the answer is. I don't even want to look at J, but let's just look so that you can see again, not necessarily will the correct answer be in plain sight. Okay. So for J, we have 500 plus 300. Okay. Okay. Again, we know 500 plus 300 is equal to 800. So then we have plus 60. Okay, we're doing good. But then, uh-oh, look at what they have, y'all. Plus 70. But we know, because we wrote our answer before we even looked at these answers, that it's truly plus 7, not 70. So what is our correct answer? Our correct answer is H because we have 500 plus 300, we know that is equal to 800, 50 plus 10 is equal to 60 plus 70. And this is a great answer to show you that not always will your correct answer just be in plain sight again, where it said, we will say, oh, okay, this is the answer and we moved on. Because if you would have chose F or G, just because it had the eight zero or the 800, we know that as we move down that answer choice, it would have been wrong, right? So just take time again to solve it for yourself and then look at the focus on the answers so that you'll know what you should be looking for, even if it's not um, written out or shown how you think it should be. And that is it for our um, word problem review for today. I would also like to announce that starting January 2022, we will begin registration for third grade online math review boot camps for the Texas Star Test. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math, and I will talk to you soon.